Hi guys, welcome to my video. I'm a little farther back today because I have my entire bed full of boxes and we are doing a mega haul. anybody else, but quarantine is not saving me money. I am sitting at home on my computer browsing Amazon and the internet and I just keep buying things. I like honestly don't even know where to start here. So this is a tin I got from Amazon. It is full of bath bombs because another thing that I have been doing a lot in quarantine is taking baths and trying to de-stress myself and this is full of them. I watched some videos and they look like they are really pretty when they're released. They're individually wrapped so if I wanted to gift some to a friend I definitely could but I got this on Amazon and it has amazing reviews. They all are like natural essential oils and all of that good stuff. So plus it comes in this cute little floral tin which I could use later for cookies. The next item that I got is actually an ice roller. I ended up not selecting the ice roller in the FabFitFun customization. This roller part is plastic but if you look inside you could see these little like liquidy bubble structures and that is the part that would freeze in the freezer. This next one is actually a present for my mom. My mom's a Joe's Witness, so she doesn't celebrate Mother's Day, but I still buy her things on Mother's Day, and then I just give them to her later because I like buying my mom presents. This is a necklace that is a monocle. So that way, like, if we went out to lunch, when we can go out to lunch again, and she wants to read the menu, she could just hold this up to the menu. I really love it. I think it's a great idea. I think the founder came out with something that is beautiful and classy looking and can replace reading glasses because you can always have this around your neck and just, like, be fancy at a restaurant and hold your monocle up. I don't know. I also bought some elastic bands because I've been sewing masks and if you haven't seen my Instagram, first off, go follow me on Instagram, what are you doing? I post on my story sometimes making masks, so I ran out of regular ribbon and then I figured having elastic ribbon would make it even better. So the next part of my haul, I'm really obsessed with like Mari Fitness. I just got the Mari Fitness home guides, but I have loved Bloom supplements. These are their super greens and seriously, they sell out immediately every single time. I wanted the regular flavor and the day it posted, it sold out so fast that I had to get mixed berry, which I've never tried before, but the regular greens taste great so i assume mixed berry will also taste great they're so good it's why they sell out so fast like they're so so good this is a very weird purchase instagram ads get me a lot okay and i saw an instagram ad for curling your hair with a blow dryer in this like plasticky thing but i guess you attach your blow dryer here and you stick your hair inside of here and the blow dryer, hold on, we're gonna try this. Go all the way through. So my hair's like this and my blow dryer's here and I go up and down or whatever and it swirls it around while it's heating it up and you would get a curl. If you guys want me to do a video showing if this really works, because to be honest, there's a lot of Instagram stuff that I've bought that does not work, but they still get me with their ads. I don't even know why whatever. So let's go with some of the ColourPop I got. I got All Things Equinox and She's Got Solstice. Actually, I have not bought too many palettes lately, but I really wanted to buy ColourPop and ColourPop was closed, but you could get these two at Ulta. So this is All Things Equinox. And everybody knows that I love purples and these light ones are kind of like the lilac palette which I also ordered but is still pending from ColourPop. And these are the colors for She's Got Solstice. It's no secret that ColourPop is one of my favorite brands. It is definitely my most favorite affordable brand. Some people would say it's a drugstore brand. I don't know if I would say that. I would call it an indie brand. So these two, I got them. And then because I really wanted free shipping from Ulta, I checked out their clearance to make sure that I had enough in my cart for free shipping. And I don't know if you guys remember, 
but I did a fall tag, obviously in fall. So in my fall tag, I said that I wish there was pumpkin spice shampoo and body wash. And you guys, in Ultra's clearance, I found pumpkin spice body wash. I am so excited. We're in spring, so why are they selling pumpkin spice? That's why it's on clearance. I don't know if it's still on their website, but if it is, all this stuff should be linked down below. So this would be linked down below as well. I just think these colors are so fun and pretty and it was also on clearance. So it was kind of me just trying to get that free shipping, of course. I do not like to pay for shipping. I don't know anybody who likes to pay for shipping, but if there's a way I can avoid shipping by getting extra things that I can play with, why wouldn't I? At least my money's going to this instead of to the process of something coming to me. And this next item I got from the Cosbox sale. So they have like a little shop, the same way FabFitFun does, but it doesn't have as many things in it, but reduce every day. This came in a box before and I loved it and I only had one, so I wanted a matching set. So I got a second one and this cup will keep your wine or whatever beverage, smoothie, whatever you wanna put in here. There's also like a little mouthpiece thing which can fit a small straw. It keeps it cold for 12 hours. I'm not even halfway through this box. We are gonna be here forever, I'm so sorry. I have no idea how long this video is gonna be, but I apologize now. So this next part is a hard wax kit, I guess you would say. I got it from Amazon. It comes with wax, which you melt in this little, oh, we can get her out in this little wax melting machine, and then you can wax your legs at home. I have a video coming soon, how to stay high maintenance, even on quarantine. This is a purchase that I made so that I can wax my legs. If you have not seen me cutting my own bangs, or like whatever you would call this, like fringe, whatever, it got to my head, okay? Everybody was like, you did a great job, bravo. And honestly, I didn't think it looked that great, but the comments made me feel like it looked better than it did. So then I got it stuck in my head and somehow I got the confidence to buy bleach. This is a premium developer, 30 volume, and this is Lightener 9 Plus. I'm not gonna bleach my whole head. First reason, my hair is actually like really dark black, but my hairdresser used to bleach the bottom part of my hair so that it could be blue. So I am gonna re-bleach the bottom-ish area of my hair, and I think I'm gonna make it red. I don't know yet, but I feel like since I've never done red before, and my hairdresser did tell me that if you want to go red or orange, it's a little bit easier because my hair already has like red undertones in it. So when I bleach it, it'll be like a little bit red unless I leave the bleach on too long and then apparently your hair can fall out if you do that. So hopefully my hair doesn't fall out and this is an adventure coming to an EP YouTube channel near you very soon. I got some Ula Hendrickson. This is their Truth Juice Daily Cleanser. It was recommended to me by someone as being a cleanser that is gentle. Have not tried it, just a recommendation. I can't be recommending it and telling you how great it is because I don't even know. The next thing that I got is from the brand Pure. I am falling in love with Pure. I really love their ingredients list and I really think they have pretty good quality products. This is their Melt Away Gel. It's an oil makeup remover. This is something that I have talked about on my channel before. It's a little bit embarrassing, I guess. Not really, it shouldn't be embarrassing. Everybody has to wear underwear and I mean, unless you go commando, but whatever. If you don't know, I love all things Japan. It's actually my dream country. If I could just like live there, I don't know. I probably could live there, but if I could just live there for the rest of my life and just eat sushi and ramen all day long, I would probably be one of the happiest people on this planet. They are the best feeling underwear in the history of underwear and is called soy mate. Like it says soy mates because there's a little soy sauce and piece of sushi and they have a heart between them because they're in love or they go together. I don't know. It's just honestly like the best feeling. It's such a weird thing to recommend underwear on my channel, but I'm recommending it. Go get it. You want to live in these. Everything I have left in here is actually gifts. So I'm gonna talk about the gifts. This came from my friend Kat. I 
really love penguin stuff, like really, really. And this also has little Japanese writing everywhere, so it's obviously like from a Japanese store, which makes it extra cute. This is like washi tape, and then there are little stickers that have cute little penguins on them. This little one is so cute. He's like holding this lollipop. He says, hello. Thank you, Kat. This was a quarantine gift. When we went on quarantine, she stopped by dropped this off at my doorstep and then texted me that she left me something and it was this and carrot cake. Carrot cake is my favorite cake. Normally she would come over and we would split the carrot cake and drink wine and just like watch movies together but because we are isolating from each other, from everyone really, this was like the next best thing. So thank you so much Kat. I don't know if you're watching this video. She does watch some of my videos. Thank you so much. I've talked about this before, Salted Rock Bath Co. is one of my favorite places for bath bombs. I think I talked about it in my spa video, my like spa giveaway video for Vanessa's birthday. And this was a gift for hitting 3K subscribers from another channel, Carter Confidential. So I will post a card up and link it down below. But this is one of my favorite brands and my nickname with all of my friends is Baby Pineapple. So he got the two pineapple items and then this is apple mango sugar which is awesome thank you so much he's a really great supportive channel so go over there give him a subscription um, if you like to watch some like DIY customization stuff that's like the majority of what he does and then I also got this little package from reviews with Sue also such an amazing supportive channel and hers was like just a just because thank you for making FabFitFun videos. So she sent me the one on one skin mask, which is literally my holy grail of masks. And like, I have so many of them, but I also treat them really special. I don't know when FabFitFun's gonna stop offering them. And then like, I literally buy one or two every single sale, but then I'm afraid if they stop, there's no way I'll be able to afford my one on one skin habit anymore. And then Coffee Scrub is one of my favorite things. This is actually one of my favorite Coffee Scrub brands too. The Coffee Scrub, you get this on Amazon and this is the coconut one. So I do like it when it has a little bit of scent. It's kind of like you have a flavored latte that you're rubbing all over your legs. I think caffeine in general is like my favorite ingredient. I talk about it all the time and that is so sweet. So thank you so much for reviews with Sue. She's also super, super supportive. I will link her down below as well as throw up a card somewhere. Make sure you go check her channel out she actually does a million unboxings like so many unboxings so if you like that kind of thing which if you're here you probably do go check her out the next gift that I'm gonna show you I actually got a long time ago like so long ago and I filmed a video where I did my sips by tea subscription I was like also she sent me this and that's amazing and then I ended up never posting that video because I just didn't like the lighting or something and I don't really remember but sometimes I'll watch a video through and I'll just be like it's not good enough it's not funny enough it's not entertaining enough this is gonna bore people I don't know sometimes I'm very critical of a video and I just delete the video and that's what happened so I never got to thank her even though I've had this for a long time so because I was doing this and I had some other gifts I figured oh, why not put this in there as well I watched her unbox it she said in her unboxing that she wasn't gonna use it or something like that or she wasn't interested in using it and I was like I'm interested and then she ended up sending it to me so that was so sweet and her channel name is Katherine McCarty and I say her name all the time and she just does it like I don't know she has like funny cute things that she does. Like, I like her dramatic readings of the Allure beauty card. I just feel like her unboxings are so different than other unboxings. She really like puts her own personal style on it. And I just thought that was so sweet that she sent me this as well. So again, I will link her channel down below. I'll throw up a card somewhere up above if you wanna check her channel out. Also does unboxings just like reviews with Sue. So like all three of us are in the same space and then Carter Confidential does something completely different but still pretty cool. I honestly think this is gonna be like my longest video like of all videos, but it was just too hard to do. I would have like 10 videos if I hauled all these things individually. So the next part is what I got from the Ulta 21 Days of Beauty, which has been a long time, but I haven't even opened some of the stuff. So it's over here. I got two pure four-in-one Love Your Selfie foundations. This is my holy grail foundation. I really like full coverage though. If you do not like full coverage, you will not like this. It is a concealer slash foundation. I have a lot of scarring. I have like acne scarring on my face, which sometimes you guys see when I come with a naked face after an unboxing. And this literally hides everything. 
It lasts all day despite the fact that I have oily skin, so it's got like the longevity factor for it. And I feel like it doesn't feel like much on my face. I have seen other reviews where people say like it has a feel to it, so maybe I should say for the amount of coverage you get, it feels like nothing's on. I honestly love it and the ingredients are really really good if you check out an ingredients list pure is one of my favorite ingredient clean ingredient companies I also got two concealers from Tarte they're shape tape concealers which I have never tried I have a no idea why I've never tried shape tape before and I just never bought this even though everybody loves it or talks about it or whatever but I got two of them one in a lighter shade for brightening and then one for like covering up spots if I need to do that I also got an Ofra highlighter I do love Ofra is a great brand for highlighters Becca's probably my favorite but Ofra is nice too and this is in Rodeo Drive so I'm really excited that was part of the Ulta sale as well and you know if something I love is on sale I'm probably gonna grab one. I also got a couple things from Tarte. Tarte is one of my favorite brands because they're cruelty free and a lot of their stuff is also vegan. The first thing that I got is their Amazonian Clay Full Coverage and then I also got their Park Ave Princess Amazonian Clay Matte Waterproof Bronzer. I have not used it yet but I really love the packaging. Tarte packaging is some of my favorite packaging actually. And this is what that bronzer looks like. I think this might actually be a little bit light for me, but we'll see. If you haven't noticed in the past, I really actually care about how something is packaged. I'm pretty bougie to be honest. Like I feel like if I'm going to spend money on something, it better look like I spent money on it. Okay. So even if I'm not spending a ton Whatever, I'm giving you my money. This is actually my Sephora VIB sale box, so we're gonna open this up now. Everybody knows I cannot be trusted with scissors. EP cannot be trusted with scissors. Whatever, I don't care, I'm still gonna use them. I definitely can't be trusted with the box cutter things. My mom got me box cutters, but they like don't work on real like boxes. They work more on mail, I feel like, because they have like a little safety hitch on them. I wish I just had one of those ones that like people use in a warehouse where they just like open it up and like slice a box open, but I would probably slice my finger off. I'm not safe with things that could hurt me. I bought two of the Ula Hedrickson Balance It All kits, and the reason I bought two is because I thought I'm probably gonna hit 3K soon. What would be better an EP box than a nice little skincare set? Video coming soon. I just wanna make sure I buy the palette that I want for the box before I do the video. So I know that I hit 3K. I did not expect to hit 3K how fast I did. So I was not in the planning phase. Obviously I just saw this and I was like, right now is a good time to buy it. Balance it all oil control kit. So if you don't have oily skin, don't worry. The EP box is customizable. You could just say, that's not one of the items I'm gonna pick. One of the things that I do in the Sephora VIB sale is I stock up on brands that literally never go on sale. Tatcha is, I would say, my favorite skincare brand. Yeah, I would I would honestly say it's my favorite skincare brand. It's so expensive, but it's so worth it. I've never found a product that I didn't love from them. I'm obsessed with this cleansing oil. I do double cleanse. Like I said, I start with a cleansing oil. For me, it's just like, oh, heaven for my face and literally melts my makeup off. And I also got the Liquid Silk Canvas Primer. I saw this on Get This Glowing's channel and she did a close up of her pores that it, it looked amazing. This looked amazing. I'm so excited to try this. I also got my go-to cleanser. It's Youth to the People and it is in a nice glass bottle. It is their kale, green tea, and spinach vitamins superfood cleanser. I'm so obsessed with this. I use it all the time. It's very gentle. It like, I don't know, just great ingredients if you read the ingredients list. On top of that, I also got a mini version of the superfood cleanser. This is just for travel because I can't travel with that huge bottle, but this is the size that can go with me on a little trip when I'm allowed to take a trip again. And I got some Drunk Elephant. Again, I try to find expensive brands that don't usually go on sale. This is their Lala Retro Whipped Cream. It is 
awesome. Like literally awesome. If you have dry skin, especially, I don't even have dry skin and it's still awesome. This is also one of my favorite products. And this is the Milk Makeup Kush Waterproof Mascara. This is one of my favorite mascaras actually. Long but natural. It's hard to explain. Like I hate when it looks super chunky. Like you can tell somebody's just like over put product all over their eye. I don't know. I really love it. I think it really does give you high volume and I really like the ingredients as well. Okay, we're almost done. I bought comfy supreme clothes. So these are sweats and if I'm feeling confident enough to insert a video, I'll insert a video here. But I am so obsessed with these. They did not have them in my size because supreme literally sells out like minutes after it posts, so you have to be on there right that second. And I'm a small, the small sells out real quick because I think people buy it for their like teenage sons probably, I don't know. This is super glittery. So I got these to be bougie during quarantine and comfy, bougie and comfy and stylish and everything, okay? I also got the matching shirt but I'm a little bit worried that this is too big for me. Again, I got this one in medium. The small was sold out. I will try it on and we shall see, but usually the medium shirts don't really fit me. Usually I need a small, but it sold out and I really wanted it because it matched like this part matches. So either I have to decide I'm gonna wear it oversized or else I'm just gonna resell it because it's not hard to resell Supreme stuff, to be honest. The last item that I got, these shelves, from Amazon. I am in the process of redoing my entire room, which if you want a video about it, I will post a video about it. But I really wanted some shelves over where I'm gonna move my desk so I could keep all of my skincare. And so I bought a six pack of these clear, like acrylic shelves for the wall that I'm gonna stagger. And then I'm gonna color code my skincare. So like all the blue will be together and all the pink, all the purple, like, so it'll kind of be like a, a rainbow wall of skincare, which to me, aren't you living the dream if you have a rainbow wall of skincare? Yeah, you are. I could be living the dream. That is my mega haul. It is so much. Honestly, like this video is probably like an hour long. Thank you guys so much for watching and let me know down below, <laughs> was this mega haul way too long? Did you make it to the end? If you made it to the end, answer down below. Was this mega haul too long? Would you prefer mini hauls or one big mega haul like this so you could just like get all your haul in one meal? You know what I'm saying? I don't know. It's hard for me to do mini hauls because that's like a lot of editing. If you aren't subscribed, please hit the subscribe button down below. Thank you again and I will see you guys next time.